Hey guys and welcome to Border Foreign Games and welcome to another episode of the renowned series Mod Spotlight. Now this is the second take because the first time I forgot to turn the mic on and I was talking for a good 20 minutes or so. Uh, I will try to be a lot more brief this time. Uh, we'll see what uh, happens eventually. So. Here we are today to take a look at another combine because taking a look at taking looks at combines is absolutely my forte and it, well you can check out the rest of the episodes the previous episodes and you will find that at least 50% if not even more of the episodes are about combines and the one is not uh, the the fant one that is selected but we are going to take a look at the Dominator 106. This one is made by Eric FS and this dropped last Friday on the official mod hub. So this is correct. You can get this bad boy from the official mod hub. And uh, this one is something that makes Hungarian FS players especially happy. But I think. Uh, this combine was fairly popular all over Europe, so maybe we are not the only ones. Yet, I think the creator of the mod is uh, Hungarian. There are several signs uh, showing towards that, but let's not get bogged down on that. Let's take a look at the combine. So, as you can see, the price is uh, the starting price is 40,000 euros euros in our case right now but uh, I don't think it's going to change much because if you go in you see that you, there aren't really too much options to change manual discharge is, is injected in by another mod uh, I like that one uh, that basically lets you uh, dump the grain tank on a button push not just naturally happening like a a natural occurrence but on your order but that's that's not something you can change if you just download the combine however you can change the color you can get this uh, all too familiar uh, class green livery which is very nice I went for this one you will see or you can change to the IKR yellow uh, IKR or as we say here in Hungary IKR was a was an uh, an agricultural uh, machinery distributor here in Hungary and the combines that they sold here in Hungary were delivered in this library exclusively um, so that's why you have this color choice this is not like the class USA or anything like that no it's a Hungarian thing that's <clears throat> that's what leads me to believe we're looking at a, a Hungarian mod maker and if that's the case that makes me happy anyways this is the combine and what else is in the package uh, in the package there is a header of course uh, which is a C510 but not this one because this one is from the Giants version but the C510 header that we get is pretty much uh, interchangeable with the Giants one and as a result it works very fine with the header cart that you get with the Dominator 108. Uh, you can uh, switch between the class green and the IKR yellow again. It's just uh, natural that uh, combines were delivered with headers so headers were also painted in this yellow. Um, so this is this is what we get and uh, what else you can use because that's I think a combine is not a combine without a means to transport its headers and without <clears throat> a means to to harvest corn and sunflowers so for that reason uh, as I said this combine is highly interchangeable and absolutely comparable to Giants Dominator 108 which is in real life the uh, the, the straight forward descendant of the 106 um, so the 
The capello headers of the game are absolutely perfectly matching to the combine, so you can use the HS8 or the, H, uh, or the F4. I don't think the HS12 would be realistic for two reasons. One, the auger is uh, not that long, and second, uh, it's a bit too big for this combine. This is an old combine, you, uh, produced in the late not, not the late 70s, just the early 80s, like the first half of the 80s, so I don't think that HS12 would be fine for it, but HS9 definitely is definitely a go. Um, and also, as I said, the uh, header <coughs> card, sorry, or header trailer uh, for the uh, Dominator 108 is working fine. I actually tested it, it's out in the field with me. Uh, so here's the combine and uh, somewhere over yonder beyond that mound next to the fortress is parking the header uh, trailer. So if we take a look at this bad boy in the field we can see that everything is modeled real nice. I would like to uh, uh, emphasize how nicely the insides are modeled. Uh, and these are moving parts over here, so if we turn on the combine and we turn on uh, trashing, you will see that these parts are moving just like on the real one. Now that's new because uh, Dominator 106s were present in all the previous games, but they were never so nicely modeled. So this one is uh, is a real treat to everyone who ever wanted a nicely done Dominator 106. As you can see, everything is uh, animated down to the very last uh, driving chain and uh, the, the belts, the, all the little tidbits, moving parts are working the way they supposed to do and this is this is one of the strong points of this combine uh, if you don't uh, consider the fact that this is uh, very very cheap in game so it's definitely a go to combine if you're looking for a small to mid size combine uh, let's take it to work uh, to, so if you're looking for a small to mid size combine um, on a, on a uh, good price, then this is the one for you. Uh, I highly recommend it. And it's, it's very nicely modeled. I love uh, every little bit that it has. I love the black puff of smoke that it releases. This is not a, not a machine from the age of, of uh, carbon emission restrictions. Uh, this is a good old machine. Header is working absolutely perfectly as you can see ETO is animated, everything is animated very very nicely it has a pretty nice uh, sound as well <clears throat> trust me when I say that the chopper is also operable and it, it works the way it should so yeah, it's overall a very very nice combine, uh, but we already knew that I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. Um, there really is nothing else to give to this one. It's absolutely up to giant standard, uh, with the looks, the, the animations, the everything. So what's not to love here? And also the grain tank is, is fairly big for uh, combines of the era, it has a grain tank of, of 7500 liters, which is pretty cool. You can spend a bit more time in the field with this one than with the forgery. Then again, I think it's a, uh, it's a bit, uh, bit newer uh, construction, like the the fortress that is parking over yonder is based on the previous model, the 105, uh, the Dominator 105, because it's a, hi a history lesson. Uh, it's a thing that uh, 
class brought their combines for testing here over here to Hungary uh, in a cooperation with, with uh, IKR and then uh, uh, experts from Fort Street took a close look at the dominators over here at Babolna and then the the, the E516 came out very very similar to dominators so that's actually a thing but by the time this happened actually the uh, class was a step ahead for Street with the 106 and the 86 which was a smaller uh, version of course uh, So this this was a thing in the history of, of combines here in Hungary. Yeah. Also, you can trust me that the combine gets nice and dirty over time. As you can see, it has uh, a bit more than an hour in it um, because I actually uh, shot this video once, as I stated earlier. It's just that for some reason my mic was turned off, so I didn't record my voice line now I don't really like overdubs and especially in this case where I was talking about things uh, and you can be thankful because I decided to skip one of the long winded uh, history lessons that I gave in that video over there although I am willing to give it if you want later on in an episode of Hungarian dairy farms and that's an uh, important question let me know in the comment section if you actually want to have more of the Hungarian dairy farm episodes because I was enjoying making them uh, and I keep coming back to this farm so there is stuff to show for you guys if you're interested but uh, if it's just for me uh, wasting time and energy on recording then I won't do that I'll be honest I will waste that energy on recording uh, other stuff that people may watch I'll be honest yeah but if you want uh, there can be more uh, Hungarian dairy farm for you guys because over here at our show sec we're slowly but surely growing uh, like as you can see now we have two combines uh, one will be stationed uh, on this side of the map and the other one on the other side I think this will go to the other side uh, just simply because it's a bit more mobile with the uh, with the sticky scripty thingy on the on the uh, header trailer um, But that being said, uh, I'm willing to do it, but not just for the eagles. Because th that's don't don't get me wrong. It's not not because I'm I'm not even start recording when there are and I don't know 200 views. It's just that I can record other stuff too that I want. I need to prioritize what I do because I have only so much time. Yeah. That being said, this is getting long-winded again. I think I will cut it over here. Uh, one more thing before I let it go is to actually show you how it dumps on the trailer. 
and while I do that I tell you to get this mod from the official mod hub uh, I will put the download link in the description uh, what else yes and uh, you can check out my Facebook I try to activate myself over there for sure uh, and uh, before you go I will leave uh, a a few things to watch for you on the screen, uh, a video that is absolutely pertinent to this one and the Mod Spotlight playlist and also a subscribe button for your convenience. That being said, thank you for watching and TTFN.